Over the last year, many of us bassists have been grounded and haven't been able to play any gigs. And that's given us plenty of time to craft some pretty amazing bass tones on our home studios, computers and laptops. But what happens when we want to take those great tones out on the road with us? Can we take our computer with us? Does this guy have the answer? Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Dan Veal and welcome to Bass Gear Magazine. Today I am looking at the Omec Teleport pedal. This pedal essentially is an audio interface in a small micro pedal sized shell. For my Mac and for my tablet here is a case of just plug and play, like many other devices, no drivers needed. It just works out of the box. This, for the technophobes, is going to be good news. For this review, I have plugged the Teleport into my tablet and I'm running an amp sim software so we can switch in and out so you can hear it working. And like normal pedals, it has a toggle bypass switch on the front which allows me to take everything on my tablet out of the signal path altogether. Now this could actually be a laptop, it could even be a desktop if you really wanted to take that on stage with you, and I could be running anything from amp sims to even just being able to insert synth sounds into my bass signal path. Maybe I'm running the equivalent of bass pedals, and I want to run them on screen with a tablet instead, or maybe some keyboard or synth type sounds, and I can trigger those, send the sound straight out using the Omic Teleport. It's all done in CD or better quality, and it's a really, really great device which runs on the normal nine volt power supply. Unfortunately, this device isn't bus powered, so I'm having to run a normal uh, pedal board power into the pedal and then running my, in this case, tablet from its own battery power. Okay, so let's have a look at it in operation. We simply have my bass input and my outputs I'm running to record my sound. This could be going to your back line. It could also be going to the front of house PA as well. Up the top here, USB connection, and that's coming around, in my case, to a camera kit where I'm connected into USB over here. For this particular tablet, you will need some sort of interface to connect between the USB of the pedal into your tablet. And as we can see on screen here, I have a piece of software that's running, um, emulating a well-known, valve amplifier sound. This is what it sounds like. I have just dialed in a very, very quick sound and um, I haven't spent a great deal of time on it. I didn't feel that I needed to. The sound coming through my monitors here is sounding pretty good. So here is my bass. coming around and bypassing the pedal. This is what my bass sounds like clean without any software. Mid-performance, I could switch from one sound to another sound. Maybe I'm using effects 
And I can dial those in and out using the tablet. And maybe if I'm using a Bluetooth remote control, I could have a pedal board down next to my feet and actually get the tablet out the way completely. So that is also a very useful way of setting up a signal path, having a pedal board and also making use of the teleport as well. Let's have a listen to some crazy sounds that I could insert into my signal path whilst I'm playing a gig, and maybe I need to play some keys as well. Now I wouldn't expect to use such small keys on stage, but as an example, you can see how that would work. I could enable the pedal, use my synth sounds, disable the pedal and then carry on playing standard bass without actually having to disconnect any leads, which I think is a great idea, especially if you're running straight to front of house and you're not miking up any bass cabinets or anything like that. The pedal electronics uses buffered bypass and that might be something that you'd need to take into consideration when looking at using other pedals with it. But the nice thing about this is the pedal can insert into your standard pedal board, either at the front or at the end of your signal path and not actually have too many difficulties, too many problems with other modern effects pedals. The great thing about this pedal is because it's so small, it can live on your pedal board all the time without anything connected to it. And when it's disengaged with power running to it, it will run as if there's nothing in the signal path at all. And when it comes to connecting your external device, it's just gonna be a case of plugging in and go, essentially. In my written review, I will put more of the technical specifications as I wanted to focus on just the operation of the pedal itself in my video. I hope this video has been really useful. I'm Dan Veal and you have been watching Bass Gear Magazine and I look forward to seeing you in another review very soon.